Hey guys, Danielle with Honey Truck here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a haroset, which is one of the elements served at a Passover Seder. The haroset is representative of the mortar that the Jewish people would use to build things for Pharaoh when they were enslaved in Egypt. It's traditionally made with apples and walnuts, um, honey and cinnamon, and those sweet elements are supposed to be representative of the sweetness they experienced when they had their exodus from Egypt, but it's also super messy and crunchy to represent that element of a building block. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's gather all of our ingredients. You're going to need three apples, some walnuts, cinnamon, Manischewitz, I got the blackberry wine just because of the little extra sweetness it provides, and of course, honey truck honey. You're gonna wanna start by peeling and coring your apples. If you don't have one of these contraptions, definitely think about getting one. It's super awesome as it does the process all at once. Once you've peeled and cored your three apples, you're gonna wanna dice them up real small. This was the first time I made this recipe, but if I were to make it again, I would have taken some of those pieces and added them to a blender to make it a little more creamier for the final result. Next, you'll add your walnuts, your cinnamon, your Manischewitz blackberry wine, and of course, you guessed it, that delicious honey truck honey. Give it a good stir, being sure to combine all of the ingredients, and then refrigerate for at least an hour to chill. Then you're ready to serve. For a full list of ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions, head to HoneyTruck.com. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on how to make a haroset. Um, I am not Jewish, but I did speak with a couple of my friends who are Jewish about making the dish and what it's representative of. I'm not perfect in my facts. So if you are Jewish and you have some comments or suggestions or ways that we can make things better, please feel free to sound off in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.